So, for the American market, here it is. Brand new BMW 7 Series. Now, the BMW dealership called me because they wanted us to consider getting one of these instead of getting the Model S. At $140,000, the Model S P90D is actually more expensive than this car is. But um, they told me as soon as they got one in, they'd call us. Because, you know, we've dealt business with them before in the past. But this is the car. To tell you the God's honest truth, it looks very muted. The front end of the thing. Every All these cars, it's funny. They, like, these cars almost have no bumpers anymore. It's like the entire bumper now is just space. It's like, it's just mesh. You know, and this is an i8. But you already saw that because I already did a video on this. But, um, yeah, that's an i8. So anyway, this is the 7 again. Don't want to get off track. And, oh, by the way, this video is presented in 4K on the iPhone 6S Plus 128 gigabyte. Okay? I don't use Galaxy phones because they suck. So let's see the price. This one is $109,000. So this is definitely cheaper than a P90D. But, you know, it's not the same car, so it's comparing apples to oranges. $97,400. You add all the stuff up and you get to one oh nine. Three nine five. In my opinion, S Class is actually a lot nicer in many respects. But uh, you know, this has a decent amount of real legroom. You know, I thought this car was gonna be too big. It's not. No, it's it's actually designed to make it feel smaller than than what it is. Yeah, you know, right. on the inside. Um, so you have this panel here. You also have obviously you still have this where you can control through here. Mm -hmm. uh, you have. Let me just show you. Oops. So it has gesture controls as well. Right, so I heard. Yeah. Yeah. So you can actually go like this. Where's the camera for that? Uh, the infrareds are right oh, here. Oh, infrared, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Sure it's here or... yeah, it, it shoots up here. No, no, so you have to just use one finger, yeah. Okay. Or if you want to adjust it, you can... Yeah, you can still do there and you can do it from here as well. You know, either way. Wow. Either way. Uh, it does have a... Basically, if you back up, right? Mm -hmm. Now, it has a 3D view as well. So... It's not gonna work because it's too uh, close to the other car. But basically, you'll be able to like there we go. Rotate the zoom yeah. oh, around wow. the car. That's, That's beautiful. Cool, right? That's incredible. That's beautiful. How much horsepower has this engine got? Uh, this has 400 and uh, almost 450. Do you know about how much gas mileage? Uh, it's gonna be 16 in the city, 25 in the highway. Oh, okay, that's yeah. pretty good. So you get away from the gas guzzle attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's Excellent. no gas guzzle yeah, nice. attacks here. Yeah, right. Absolutely. Yep. So you have that. The uh, the I don't know if you, the, from the previous generation seven series, it's 200 pounds lighter. Okay. So uh, you get basically the power but less weight. You know, has a lower center of gravity. The frame, it's a what they are calling carbon core frame. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the pieces, they're carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, taken from the I-8, basically, with right. that technology. Yeah. Uh, taken right from that to lower the center of gravity and also lessen the weight. Yeah. Obviously, the less weight, more power, you're gonna get better performance out of the car. Do you have lease prices yet? Uh, yeah, you're able to lease, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. This is all digital. You wanna make the air come out a little bit warmer? You can just turn oh, wow. it down. Oh yeah, okay. Capacitive touch, I see. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. All this stuff here, you have uh, to cool the seats. Turn that on. You know, make the fans come on. You have obviously heated seat. Everything is digital touchscreen. You can see like the actual like material itself. It's you know, it's a nice, it's oh, a nice yeah. material, a nice uh, metal. What a gorgeous car. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous.
interior materials feel almost exactly like what they felt like in the other BMW models, especially the last seven. However, the chrome additions make it a little more upscale. Yeah, this is really, really nice. I like this. And then heat and back, heat and cool back seats is like standard or is it just heated? Uh, just heated. Okay. Yeah. There is a, I believe there is an option for that as well. Yeah, because you can get uh, basically like there's an option you can get a touch pad also there so you can control everything like if you're sitting in the back okay you can control like your seating position uh how your massaging is all that stuff you can control okay yeah you can tell i mean even the with just do no justice yeah no even oh. with the leather you can see it almost looks like you know Oh. It's, it's a high, you know, high-grade leather. High-grade oh, leather. Yeah. Yeah, 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 the so, panorama. Bitch. <laughs> uh, there's an option that you can get where it almost looks like it's like um, a different type of fabric, but there's lighting okay. that shines on it, so oh, it gives okay. it a different like feel. Is it still black. Uh, you can change the color on it. Oh wow. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. And this one also, you you probably will experience that if you start to drift out of a, out of the lane. Yeah. The steering wheel will vibrate, right. but it also will pull you back into the lane. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Because I have that on my Mercedes in Florida, but it won't pull you back in the lane. Yeah. And does it have, um, if it detects it in a collision, it'll start breaking? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you can see it. Uh, see, I'm so comfortable in the BMW. Which is Warning and brake interventions. We have early, medium. It also is, it's not just um, for the front mm -hmm. also. In low speeds, let's say in the parking lot or something like that, if you're backing out and the car starts moving out and you don't see him, he's in your blind spot, your car will slam on the brakes. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's incredible. I know because it happened to us. Same side collision warning. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. Your blind spot, steering intervention. So you can shut all those things off as well. So if right. you don't want that. But blind spot detection. So if, if you oh, yeah. start to turn and it senses that there's a car next to you, it'll just grab, you know, it'll basically pull you away so you don't hit the car next you know, to you. Now, my Mercedes, I had a, a diamond and it would be yellow versus red. Do they have anything that illuminates? Yeah, right here. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's yeah. It's on the different. Yeah. Okay, that's great. It's a little bit more. In other um, words, if you don't, if looking, you don't you know? see my Mercedes, if you don't signal yeah. and you're changing lanes, which half people don't, <laughs> it's, it just turns red. It yeah. won't touch. But if you signal, it'll go beep, 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 you're going to hit something. Right. See, this one has the heads up as well. Yeah, I, I have the heads up now. Yeah. But this is the, the biggest in any uh, any car right now, the heads up display. Yeah, the roll have it, right? Yeah. No, what I'm saying, compared to like Mercedes, Audi, any of those, the heads up is biggest and the clearest oh, okay. that there is uh, right now. In the yeah, I didn't test drive the Mercedes yet. Okay. I'm doing that in three days. Okay. Seats have massages in them. Yes. Oh, okay. So I don't, I don't know if yours do in the back, but I don't see a massage good. function. But I think if you get the panel, the control panel, I yeah, think it has it. Then it will. This is a twin turbo V8. Yes. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Possible. What is this? It says uh, possible to continue in three tires. No, it just needs to be um, calibrated, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, there's the S, the W222 right there. Yeah. Some people complain. They say that one, the, the one that we have, they say it looks too much like a, a nightclub <laughs> <laughs> inside. This engine sounds pretty strong. Yeah. What is that? 400. Uh, 80 um, torque. Found, found What's found the gas mileage on this? Uh, 16 in the city, 23, 25 in the hybrid. Oh, it says 19 miles per gallon. I guess that's total. Fine. So 16, 25. Yeah. This is, this is, of course, this is an M version. Does it have a bigger engine than the normal? No. Okay. The M, the M basically line is just basically for the aesthetics of okay. the look. No so it's different wheels, uh, different uh, basically aero kit, you know, around the car. Um, but yeah, it's not going to affect any 
anything else besides that. Biggest problem with this car, I thought it was going to be, it was going to be like a limousine. Okay, yeah. And I really didn't want to be driving a limousine. Right. <laughs> and then I just didn't want to have to wait for the fire series to come out. And the six series is too small. Yeah, it's. I mean, that's more like a coupe, you know. Yeah, you know, it's a grand coupe. Yeah. Setting tire pressure lowers. Sometimes they, they're about to pass. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Oh, it's 
watching me uh, lame? Yeah, I was like, what? I thought you grabbed the wheel. I was like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. So, but see, in some some cars that do have that technology, they won't let you pull, pull, keep pulling it in the way you want to right. go. But this, even though, you know, it's trying to correct you, if you give it, you know, if you pull it in that direction, it won't fight you. Yeah, you know? yeah. We'll change the direction. Uh, 8W. Seven West. So that's how that works. Yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Also, like um, it, it, it has the um, stop and go cruise control. Oh wow! Okay. So even like at low speeds, like in traffic, mm -hmm. you know, if you turn that system on, if the car in front of you stops, all you have to do is just hit resume, and it'll bring you back. And it'll start following it again. Right. And here's the thing. If you're in heavy traffic, like yes. let's say you're waiting for a Holland Tunnel, okay. can it can it be stopped and then resume itself and then stop itself like so that basically you don't have to use the pedal while you're right behind traffic? Yes. It can do that. Yeah, okay. it can, yeah. Yeah, the back seat safe. feels fantastic. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, I'm used to this. I've got lots of leg space. Oh yeah? Yeah, I've got yeah. lots of leg space. This that's is, that's always is, my major problem. This is more takeoff power than a plane that I fly. <laughs> that's that's fucking unbelievable. You said a plane? Yeah, I fly for it. You too. Oh, what, a Cessna Skyhawks? No, Boeing 757. Oh, so you're a pro. But this, this, this car's got more balls than the engines. I'm with uh, Nassau Flies. Okay, cool. Uh, have you you've been on the A380-800? No. I came back from Dubai. Let me tell you something. That plane was a hotel. Their, their coach class and their first class make our best first classes <laughs> look like a Hyundai. <laughs> like, it's that bad. I loved it. 12 hours, fantastic ride. Is that the sticker on the car? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does this go up and down? No, that's stationary. I was really on the uh, on. I was really at first upset that it wasn't integrated. But oh, it, like in the dash? Yeah, like okay. it used to be. Okay. Because when I first saw this come out on a C Class Mercedes, I you said, thought it was cheap, right? It looks cheap, like a, like a you know a, what a it tablet, is. But this is much government. Different. The government regulations say that you have to put those things as high to eye line as possible. So basically, there's only two things you can do. You can either put a heads-up display, or you could mount it like that. Right. And that, that's basically all you can do. It's the regulations. It's, that's what's going to kill Vol uh, Volkswagen. They're going to get killed. <laughs> yeah, they fucked up. Exactly. Yeah, but you know what? I, I can't CEO. blame them. I can't blame them. They keep passing straight. Well, why do you think that this car doesn't have the really big engines anymore? It's because of the European displacement taxes. Do you still have to put premium on it or regular on uh, you know premium. this is premium, yeah. yeah no, this is premium. Otherwise, they'd have the knot. But uh, no, the regulations are killing these car companies. It, it's like now they have to make everything out of aluminum, carbon fiber. They have to have smaller engines with Magnesium twin turbos. Oil. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, I don't blame Volkswagen. I just blame them for getting caught. We're gonna go around, yeah, we're gonna go around and come back in. I mean, and then that's that's what the price you pay for the green agenda. And then when I left him a message, uh, he never called me back. Not the new one. The old yeah, one. yeah. I just feel like this 
pulls, pulls. You know, yeah, it, it's, <laughs> it's for a big ass car. You don't, you just don't think you're gonna get that. Yeah. Mm -mm. Son of a bitch. Go, 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 go. Yeah, you may have to hit him. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, he thinks I'm gonna keep going straight. That's how you get your accidents. There you go. I just turn right. <sighs> wow. How long till you get the ones with the back seat packages? Um, I, I think we might actually have one in another seven. Another seven with that. Uh, I think it's the executive. executive yeah, it's out here. I have to see if anything would be on right on the other side that we're coming to. Like I said, they just came in, so it's some we have down. Uh, I think we have. If it's not here, it's probably down at a warehouse. Yeah, I think that's it. actually. It oh over. yeah, oh, that, that the Where? silver one yeah. might be it. Oh, the cashmere. Yeah, the cashmere. Yeah, that's the one she told me she had here. Oh. This one right here. You can stop here if you want. We can get on and check that one out. Yeah, I, I won't have the key for it though, but I can get the. key. Does it have it? No. Oh, that one does have it. Okay. I always get the close-ups of the wheels. I like the wheels. I think there's an air suspension because I hear something hissing. Yeah, anybody who likes BMW, they're going to love this. A lot of rear overhangs, so I guess that must be the trunk must be uh, pretty deep. Mm. Yeah. Can I see the trunk? Does it come with a spare, by the way? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Okay, that's deep. There's plenty of room. So this one, actually, I'm sorry, this one does not have the spare. They don't like spare tires anymore. I yeah, guess it saves weight, huh? Yeah. This is just like that. I mean, right. you can order with a, with a non soap. If you do, it raises it up. Yeah, okay. I got you. All right, all right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, this is nice. Very nice. Memory seats for the passenger. Yeah, okay. It's $109,000 for you. Oh yeah, the button for Friends. it, yeah. you'll see it. Opens both sides too, you can open both sides from one side. When I first approached the car, I pretty much had a good idea exactly what to expect from this car. To tell you the God's honest truth, the BMW 7 Series really hasn't changed in my opinion. It feels exactly like it did when I first tried out a 745 Li. It feels exactly like it did when I tried out a 750 um, in 2008 or 2009. Doesn't change much. The interior has definitely improved. The material quality has gone up. I like all the little features and all the little um, space saving designs. Interior space is good. It's just that after driving the P90D for a couple of days, the, the acceleration, nothing accelerates like that. So, you know, you kind of look at gasoline engines in a totally different way at that point. And um, basically, I, I like this uh, car. It's a nice executive car. But um, our Mercedes W222, in my opinion, is just a better vehicle. 
And um, now these cars basically have very, very similar pricing. You load either one up and you're going to 120, maybe even $130,000. But, um, you know, this didn't really, really excite me. I mean, it's a really great car and it drives well, very soft, very smooth ride. But frankly, after driving that P90D, you know, I'd rather lease the Model X or the Model S P90D series than to... Uh, go for a BMW. And this car will definitely impress and anybody who's a normal BMW owner will love this car. However, if you're a Mercedes W222 owner, you'll see what I'm talking about. 